What's up guys, my name's Curtis and welcome to 5 Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. We've all been there. A decent raise comes in, you get your annual bonus, or you graduate high school or college and land your first well-paying job. Time for celebration, right? Eh, not so fast. It's during these good times of increased income where people often make terrible financial decisions in the form of lifestyle creep. Lifestyle creep refers to the idea that your discretionary spending increases as your standard of living goes up. When one's income or standard of living increases, they often look at things they used to think of as a want and now they consider them as a need. So here's a couple of examples that I hope will paint a picture of how lifestyle creep can have a negative impact on your finances. This first example happens all the time. You graduate college and you finally land that high paying job in the field that you chose to study in. With this sudden increase in income, you all of a sudden feel that you deserve a brand new shiny car for all the hard work that you put in. So you go further into debt for something that you totally didn't need, but somehow now you feel you deserve it. The smart decision would to be either keep what you already have or buy a cheap used car and then continue to use that extra income to pay down debt, pay down student loans, credit cards, whatever it is, and invest. But no, you suddenly felt that you deserve to go another $30,000 in debt digging yourself a deeper hole just because you have a higher income now. Another example seems like it would have a very small effect, but it can really add up over time. This is the idea of going out to eat multiple times per week or buying coffee every single day from like Starbucks when you could easily make your meals at home for a fraction of the price. Over time, that Starbucks that you used to think of as a once every other week luxury becomes an integral part of your day. And you don't even realize that that $5 overpriced cup of coffee, even buying it every other day, can add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars by the time you reach retirement. I know those are just a couple of examples, and truly I could go on and on about the different forms of lifestyle creep that people experience without even noticing it. And believe me, I've fallen into a lot of these societal norms myself as well. Now I'm not saying that you can't enjoy that raise or that big bonus. You obviously worked really hard for it, and it's compensation that you deserve. But think long and hard about both big and small financial decisions that you weren't previously willing to make but now you're ready to go do just because you got a couple percent raise. As I mentioned, I myself have been hit with lifestyle creep plenty of times in my life, but ever since I started getting really into personal finance, I've made myself a couple rules regarding raises and bonuses, and I think they could help you guys too. When it comes to raises, I make sure I'm putting at least 50% of that extra income right into savings or investments. I don't touch any of it. And back when I had non-mortgage debt, I also made sure to take some of that extra income and apply it to paying down that debt as well. In terms of any bonuses that I receive, it may sound weird, but I try to consider that income that I never receive. I don't allocate that money to anything before it's received, and as soon as it gets deposited, I either put it into my 401k, my IRA, or some other investment. This prevents me from buying things I don't need just because I got a lump sum of money, and it sets me up for the future. I know that may sound a little bit extreme for some people, but I do encourage you, if you do get bonuses regularly or irregularly, put at least some of it towards either investing or paying down debt, and don't use all of it just to buy things that you want. Again, I think it can definitely be important to reward yourself as your income increases and your standard of living goes up. But at the end of the day, the absolute best thing you can do when you're in these situations is to not change anything about your life and take all that extra income and save and invest it. You'll thank yourself later. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would really help out my channel. And if you're new around here and wanna see more videos, please consider subscribing.